young ones are still interested in photography. Mm. Yeah. And yeah, it's I think it's it moved with the pencil, the whole real, realism mm -hmm. art drawing, pencil art framing it. Yeah. It it um it came with it, right? It rose with it. And I think it's still moving. Just that this has gone down a notch. This is different from photography. Yes, of course. It's way different from photography. You so, can bring your mm -hmm. very nice photo and we are transforming it into pencil art. They say tourism is one of the biggest exports any country could ever have. But how about arts? Now, there's been a new wave of young people venturing into their skills in the areas of arts. One of the young people who has been doing extremely well in that area is a man we are here to speak with. He goes by the name Enel Arts, who loves to do arts in a way that brings realism to life. Welcome to this special edition of Ghana Web Special here on Ghana Web TV with me, Echi Atisu. I'm in Amanfro, just around Kaswa, here in the central region, to speak with this young man. Come along, let's explore the talent that is called Enel Arts. Come along. Enel. Hi. Hello. What's up? Cool. It's good to have you. Nice to um, meet you. Thank you for welcoming us to your mm. You have a nice studio here. Thank you. Uh, and I hope everything is well. Yeah, my gosh, good. I hope we can get to have some nice conversation. Why not? Interesting. All right, anyhow. Um, so what's up? I'm cool. cool. Uh, I, guess, I guess even this conversation can be had in, in some... We can do everywhere, right? Bob. People will just jump on us. Bro. <laughs> anyway, but how's it been? Cool, cool. Uh, we are both in the arts, so when I get to talk to other talented people like this, I just... I just want to hear because I'm unable to perhaps sometimes give answers. Yeah. Do, do you know how you came about knowing you could, you could do this? Well, you know, as children, um, a lot of us liked to doodle, sketch, mm -hmm. draw and all that. But I was lucky enough to have found my interest in that. And so that's what I've, I've just kept doing throughout my life. And that's how... Maybe you might not remember, but what do your parents tell you? How early did this start? This this rare talent. Where? How, how early did this start? Well, the, from what they've told me, I think it was around seven years, five or seven years between five five and seven. You must years. have been what yeah. nursery. Nursery. Okay. Yeah, nursery. Very very young. Nursery. Yeah, very young. Interesting. And it's it's been on and on like that yeah. till now. So is this something you passionately pursued because your parents were directing you into it? Oh no, they, I think they, they recognized um, that uh, I had interest in art, so they just uh, kept supporting me and yeah, they, they wouldn't stop you from doing what you like. Mm -hmm. And so that's like pushing you, that's like encouraging you, right? And so... Yeah, that's how it has been. Mm. Let, let's get to know you yeah. better first of all. Um, you go by the name Enel Arts. That's what many of us know. Um, yeah. What was your real name? <laughs> <laughs> that's the question you get every day. Oh, especially I, now. Yeah, yeah. Well, my real name is Israel Derek Afeti. Afeti. Yeah. Oh, great. Okay. And you, how many siblings do you have? Um, four. You so plus you? Plus me five. Okay, plus you five. Yeah. Interesting. You grew up in Accra? Yeah, right here. Right here in Accra. So you're an Accra boy. Come on, you're a DB. Oh, I know you're DB. I'm big. Uh, I mean, but that's what Accra yeah. people are DB. Yeah. Yeah. You have to come from somewhere to live yeah. in Accra to be yeah, regarded. Hustlers were playing. Oh, really? Yeah. Interesting. And, and you, so you schooled here yeah, oh, and yeah. everything. My school is just down the road. Just down the road. Yeah. Oh, then you are a Kaswa boy. Oh, yeah. Two and two. 100%. Ish. You get lands. <laughs> we'll talk about that afterwards. <laughs> but let's talk about the art. I mean, um, yeah. you, you, caught, uh, you caught a lot of people's attention from mm -hmm. what you used to do in Trotro. Yeah. 
you would sketch people on the go. Um, what inspired that? Well, from the point I started uh, my national service, right? Mm -hmm. And you I, did your national service where? Uh, Stambik Bank. Okay. Yeah. So I was doing my national service. I wasn't getting enough time to draw. And you know, it's something I'm passionate about, so I have to find time to do it. And there wasn't um, any time I could do that. So mm -hmm. I, I recognized that in the bus, I spent too much time in the bus on the way to work. And I thought I could, you know, use that time. Just capitalize on that. Yeah. Mm. And do some quick sketches just to keep up with the... So it, it was nothing planned. You, you oh. didn't think it was... Maybe people intentionally want to plan to do something like this. For me, if I plan, <laughs> I don't have to plan too much. Mm -hmm. If I plan too much, I'll end up not doing it because... Too it's much erratic, eh? just Just take action and then... You see the next step and take it. See the next step, you take it. Mm. That's how that's how I move. So I just followed the flow. I see. Yeah. National service. What did you read in school? Communications design. Okay. Yeah. So uh, is it, does it come with things like these? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. In first year, they'll teach you how to draw. So they okay. taught all basic of us drawing. Basic drawing. Okay. Yeah. And you went to which school? Tech. K okay. KNUST. Yeah. All right, basic drawing and all that. Mm -hmm. Now, fast forward back to the troll troll thing. Yeah. Now, you spend a lot of time on the bus. Bro. You decide to take advantage. Why, well, you always had a book? Yeah, you. It's, it's right. Let me show you. Okay. So it's, it's this book mm -hmm. and this pen. Just, just this. It's as simple as... <laughs> they, are, they are just people, humble People might tools. not see this as simple. Yeah. Simple tools, yeah. eh? They are just humble tools. And uh -huh. You can create magic and change, touch someone's life with it. I see. Yeah. You know, you started in a, the buses, Trotro. Let's let's keep it to Trotro. Yeah. So people get to understand that it's Trotro you are doing this in. Yeah. Do you remember the first time you you sketched anyone? And who was that when you were in a bus? When I was in the bus. Yes. First person you sketched. One of the first sketches I did in the bus was Justin Bieber. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it didn't start with the Trotro. It started with um, celebrities. Um, who are trending online. But you do it in the bus. I do it in the bus. Okay. Yeah. So one of the first ones was Justin Bieber, then Kendrick Lamar, then Kelly. Okay. You remember Kelly? That girl who was trending online. <laughs> oh, the Kelly from the Francophone African? Yeah. That, that lady. Yeah. Oh, okay. Not too far back. That must have been, what, 2022 or this year, 2023? 2022. Oh, okay. Last year. Last year. Just last year. Okay. All right, and when you do the sketches, do you show them to anyone when you're done? No, no, no. I, I was just trying to um, keep a sketchbook, mm -hmm. you know, just to keep myself busy. And so that's how I started before I transitioned to the um, random cultural people mm. and strangers. People can be quite nosy yeah. in, in the trotro. Yeah. What do people say when they see you? They just look and <laughs> look away. <laughs> Have you had anyone say anything weird to you before in those moments? Oh, no, not really. Nobody no. ever said anything? No, nothing weird. Okay, then that means you've always yeah. been that good. So they see yeah. it and they are wowed by it. Oh, yeah. yeah. The few people, the couple of people that have actually spoken to me in the process of drawing, mm -hmm. liked it. Yeah. People take your contacts. The mates. The mates. They Charlie, do that. if you want to draw your mates now, just come to me. <laughs> <laughs> you get plenty, here. Yeah. Oh, I get the one on this or... Charlie, a crack church of it. But then you only pay for rights again. Oh, you know, I did pay, I did pay. That's in, I, I want it to be totally free. Okay. Yeah, so that's the intention. It's not like I'm drawing to um, sweep off my fare. Mm -hmm. But then recently, just, I think it was just yesterday, one of the church of it's I drew um, gave me a free ride. I paid and he gave my money back to the me. The money back to you. It felt really good. Very, very good. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Now you get to start from the big names, Justin Bieber, the Kellys. Those ones are very popular. Mm -hmm. What made you zero in down from big names like that all the way to sometimes we don't know who the mates are. Yeah. Uh, we fight with them every day. <laughs> Why those people? I, I think their, their story is intriguing. Mm -hmm. So 
um, when you draw them, their reaction is, is natural. Those are the top there. Those are the top there. <laughs> They've gotten a lot of these. They see it a lot. They yeah. see it a lot. So they, they might not appreciate it as much as mm. someone who wouldn't be expecting someone to yeah. draw him. Yeah, I think that's it. And, and, and I'm still intrigued about the trottle mate bit mm. because when you sketch them, mm -hmm. how long does it take you to maybe finish one sketch? Yeah, the fastest so far was 30 minutes. 30? Fastest? Or is it 30? I think it was 18 minutes. Okay. 18 minutes. That's the fastest so far. Because the trottle is moving, you have to be careful about your strokes and all mm -hmm. that. So. 18 minutes. I actually was going to ask you how you're even able to keep your... It's really stressful, strenuous, bro. But you're able to still get a perfect yeah, picture. I have to get it. <laughs> now, no, get now it. tell me, is it that you have a photographic memory such that you just see them and you, or you take a photo? Mm -hmm. What do you do? Uh, I'm, I'm not that special. I take a video. Okay. I freeze one of the frames mm -hmm. and I look at my phone and draw. But that's even still special. <laughs> the fact that you can do that in a moment, capture... Yeah. And you always get these kinds of reactions. Do, do you have people, the, do you have other mates actually stop you to say, actually, do this for me? One, one saw me at a crown mm. <laughs> Yeah, I hadn't picked this car before. I, I don't know him from anywhere. I think he's seen my videos. Okay. And he said, I should draw him. <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it was a nice moment. Oh, interesting. And now it's good you mentioned videos now. Oh. The advent of social media and all that. You do a lot of things on Instagram, TikTok. Yeah. How has that helped your craft exposure I, before i started this i was thinking of ways to market myself mm -hmm. and all i could i could think of was um going hard on marketing going hard on marketing and being everywhere slapping every social media platform with my art consistently mm -hmm. and that's what i've been doing now and it's working my customers, my clients see that and they reach out to me, place an order for commissions, then I do it for them. Mm. Yeah. I see. Now, more or less, you have been able to zero in on exactly which aspect of the arts you are doing. Mm -hmm. That's it. Um, do you only really sketch trotto mates for free? Which, which other people do you do for free? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Maybe someone like someone interviewing you for free <laughs> maybe that which, which which other people maybe. do you oh just sometimes if i see the person and he or she he or she has a striking character that's that is um oh this is your striking characters typical striking characters will look like what they look down they look happy how do you tell what's wrong they stand out Okay. They stand out. They, you can see from their face that they have a lot going on. Mm. Yeah. They have some very troubling stories. And I, I noticed that you tell stories from mm -hmm. those artworks. They're not just sketches. Yeah. You're actually trying to capture moments yeah. and stories in there. Yeah. So you're not just an artist. You're a storyteller. Yeah. I'm following your footsteps. Oh, we no. <laughs> The focus is on you today. Well. So, so you're a storyteller too, yeah. through arts. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I want us to just take a short break. Sure. All right, then. I'll find out about all the juicy aspects of this, this area of arts that you are okay. in right now. So we'll, we'll return briefly and then we can continue with this conversation. Sure. Heart, be mindful of your health. Edia products, not your makeup. I welcome you to Sigma Health and Beauty. You can call us the beauty embassy. Who pursue beauty are more revealed with quality makeup products? There is only one place. The Sigma Health and Beauty 2022 Ghana Makeup Awards. Beauty Retail Business of the Year. Of course, we are the defending champions. <laughs> World class makeup brands and quiet on. You name it. Maybelline, Dark and Lovely. House of Tara. Any, many more. Your professionalism in the beauty industry is 
unmatchable or ba ho fe fo bra me the proper way of applying our products sigma health and beauty yewa akra makola georgina stores and rollins park gate 4 fry in 0248138596 and 0201408186 or visit our online shop at www.beautyavenuegh.com sigma your beauty our joy so welcome back um we're still here with nl ads nl um now this is how we found you we found you on social media and um, because you had sketched some yeah. some of these guys and you caught our attention mm -hmm. the same way we found you have other big names found you as well people who have been intrigued by your artwork or something has that happened well so far not quite not quite i've had some um, people come to me, but na nothing confirmed yet. Mm. Yeah, so. But at least there have been some moves yeah, there made. Been, there been some Does that make you disappointed or not? No, 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 no. no it, makes, it makes me, um, it keeps me on my toes. It just reminds me that I have to work harder and so that these um, bigger um, institutions can see me and come approach me and move on with whatever I have mm. to do. Now, now, now the ads you do is more or less like photography. Um, yeah. Because I know there was a time photography was just booming. Everyone, every young person was getting into photography. More or less the same thing as happening in the area of this realism, this realism, yeah. hyper-realism, all these kinds of ads that you do. Mm -hmm. How competitive or not is the industry? And tell me whether or not you feel like you are competing against it or it worries you, any of such things. <laughs> well, first, um, people are still, young ones are still interested in photography. Mm, yeah. And yeah, it's, I think it's, it moved with the pencil, the whole real, realism, mm -hmm. arts drawing, pencil arts framing it. Yeah. It, it, um, it came with it right it rose with it and i think it's still moving just that this has gone down and much why much. why is that um i don't know is it the photography that is oh no no it's this is different from photography yes of course it's way different from photography you so, can bring your mm -hmm. very nice photo and we are transforming it into pencil art so which aspect of the art is actually doing better now i can't really tell <laughs> I can't really tell because every artist and the way they create mm -hmm. it's just that this is trending now among the younger ones. They are inspired by what they see online, the okay. bigger artists they see online, just mm -hmm. like I was inspired by some bigger artists online. Mm -hmm. So they are inspired by them and they are also they also try to um, do these pencil drawings. It's the basics of um, art actually. Um, knowing how to draw and shade. Mm -hmm. That's how you know how to blend your tones when you move to painting. You understand? So, yeah. But you don't paint. I paint. You paint as well. Yeah. But you don't do a lot of that. I do. You do a lot of that. Yeah. It's okay. just that the treacherous sketches caught you. <laughs> I've caught everybody's yes. eyes. And so we like yeah. to know, I mean, apart from the sketches, you do painting. Which yeah. other things in the area of art you do? I'm actually a musician. As okay. Well. I, I sing. Yeah, I do live painting. Okay. Um, pencil drawings, as you can see, and basically anything art. Have you have you released a song, anything like that? Or you're in the studio? I've not released a song yet, mm -hmm. but I'm in the process of, you know. Okay. What kind of music painting. do you do? Um, a soul Afro soul guy. Afro soul. I actually listen to every kind of music. Mm -hmm. So you love uh, to blend. Yeah. So there's I, a diff like to, there's a difficulty with the name, it's right? A, yeah, it's, it's kind of difficult to. But there's some like, Afro in there. Yeah, there's some Afro and there's some soul in there. Mm -hmm. But I like to blend everything. Okay. Yeah. That's a lot, eh? Yeah. They call it potogum shegum, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it's called, eh? I'll go with that. Ah, uh, yes, that's a long one. We'll see how it's sold that to the world. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, business-wise, eh, yeah. how is business? For you, are you making some cash, yeah. some that I can carry away? <laughs> uh, maybe when I'm leaving, I can carry some away. Oh, it's not yeah. gotten to that level yet. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's good. So far, it's good for um, the beginning. I'm still at the beginning stages. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so so far it's good. Okay. I'm hopeful that it will advance and the um, figures would increase. Okay. So I, I take it that the figures are like uh, six now. Yeah. You're hoping it gets you. like an eight. You. <laughs> Maybe that's a prophecy, by the way. You, you well, may never know. I'll go with the prophecy. <laughs> the prophecy. That's very interesting. Yeah. Now, but what do you think about the future of arts? I mean, some of us growing up, we used to worry that things like even writing yeah. was not as accepted. Mm. Today, what you do today is well accepted. Maybe because of the advent of the internet. Yeah. But next five years, ten years, what do you see the world of arts like for us? Maybe here in Ghana and then the world over. Yeah. Well, you see the way technology is fast advancing. Mm-hmm. I think that's, and we cannot do without it, right? That's the way um, art is also going with it. Like you cannot, okay. you cannot advance without, without art. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, back then, the people didn't really respect graphic designers. Mm-hmm. But right now, yeah. graphic designers are one of the top um, most paid people in the industry. They're as expensive as yeah. programmers. Yeah. Graphic design is not, it's not cheap. Yes. Art <laughs> itself is not cheap. So the way art um, technology is moving fast, art is following it. Mm-hmm. Um, we need artists to design all the interfaces, even though AI. AI wants to spot things small. Mm, I, I was going to ask you about AI. AI wants to spot things small. How is this spoiling you small? <laughs> is it taking business away from from people it's, like it's you? It's taking business away from um, people who do digital art. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because you can just um, key in some AI. words and AI will generate your LinkedIn photos for you. Mm. Yeah. So it's Even here in Ghana? Yeah. Oh, people do it. Do it. I see. You can just key in a few words, transform my picture to um, something, and, and, and it just does it for you in a few minutes. So it's taking business from mm-hmm. those who do um, digital art. Okay. Yeah. I see. But but then is, there's also another interesting um, aspect of what you do in in this area of the arts. I. I'm wondering if you can, I just want to see if you can help me understand this. Now, there are, there are ways that maybe even state art actors can tap into what you do yeah. for some kind of work. Do you think it's an area that our leaders are not looking at? Uh, or what? We have ministries, departments like that. But do you think they've done enough to be able to help some of you build up what you're doing? I mean, there are so many possibilities with art, mm-hmm. and there are so many of them that this country, in particular Ghana, has not tapped. I mean, we are still um, we are still now absorbing the whole art thing. We are growing small, small because of social media, internet. Mm-hmm. Uh, we are seeing how people um, deal with art, so we are grasping it small bits by bits, and so I think eventually the leaders would tap into this side of um, the whole art thing. Mm. Do, do you see a Ghana, for instance, where, you know, in advanced countries, mm-hmm. the US, the Europe, and, and all of those other places, there are instances, for instance, in a court setting yeah. where there is an artist or a, a sketcher, whoever, that is able to bring to life the things that are in the courtroom yeah is that something you think can be explored here oh yeah yeah largely we can we can really explore that is that something and you can do yeah i i do live paintings at, at weddings okay so it's something i in particular can do and something um, that this country has can take upon themselves and um, explore further mm. we would even encourage more younger ones to pursue art. I see. Yeah. Now, now, do you think arts like you do is something people can do alongside other things? Maybe a doctor who wants to paint. Is that something people can do? Yeah, at your leisure time, you can paint. This day, there's no leisure time. Well, I'm getting to it. Mm. So, because there's no leisure time, mm-hmm. if you want to do art, 
and get serious with it. Okay. Like me, you have to stop whatever you are doing and pursue it 100%. So I was working in the bank. Okay. I stopped and I'm pursuing art fully now. My dad said um, a couple of days ago that these days, anything you do, if you take it seriously, you will thrive. You, you will become good and you you flourish. Mm. I was like, yeah, this is you don't you don't joke with anything At anybody. All. You don't play with anything. So pick just pick something, be serious with it, and in the long run you will be successful. That's how it is now. Mm. So 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 leaving the bank was no regret for that or no no regret. It was hard because I had already made a family over there, the okay. marketing department. Mm. I already made a family over there. So leaving there was emotional for me. Me. Oh, I see. Yeah. Now, now, a lot of them see you. What do they say to you when they see you? Oh, they are proud of me. Um, a lot of them are my clients. Yeah, clients that, that and taking their money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We are, we are kind of like family now. So, okay. I need any advice. I go to them, and they guide me small. Yeah. Well, now, this is what you do full time. Full time. Um, how do people reach you mostly, apart from the usual things how do people usually get in touch with you social media social media i'm always on social media okay so when you want to reach me just send a dm and what what's the socials what how do we reach you on socials and no at everywhere and no at yeah is there an underscore anywhere just key in and no at it's two accounts on instagram right okay but you just enter and no at the two will pop up and they are both your they accounts are both my accounts okay yeah. All right. Now, um, young people who want to venture into maybe this, yeah. this kind of art, what, what would you tell them about specializing, especially when it comes to arts? Mm -hmm. How, what would you tell young people out there, people who want to follow your footsteps? Learn everything. They should learn everything and do more works. The more you do more works, the more um, you realize where you are more comfortable with the kind of materials you are uh, more comfortable to work with and all that. So you should just do more works and practice more. That's basically it. Mm. What should we be expecting from you in the next five years? Next five years, inshallah, one of the big names out there. I'm, I'm hoping to um, take Ghana worldwide. Are there particular Art. people you are targeting? Maybe you want to draw, you want to sketch particular people like that. No, no particular person. Mm -hmm. Anybody that strikes me, I'll draw you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Anyway, thank you very much. It's been a brief conversation, but I've really loved this. And yeah. uh, I hope that you continue to draw more sure. and to sketch more. Sure. So all the best. And we love what we see, the young generation coming up. People like me, I'm not that old, but <laughs> we love what we see. And yeah. it's interesting that we are expanding mm -hmm. into other areas. So thank you. Thank you for thank agreeing you. to speak with us. <laughs> thank you for interviewing me. You are most welcome. Yeah. So that's been NL at NL at um, Look for him on social media anywhere, NL Arts. And get to follow some of the amazing work that he's doing. My name is Etchi Atiso and this has been Ghana Web Special.